Hello guys, how you doing? Spicer Rins here, and in today's video, we have a very important topic to talk about. And that topic is fast food. Or should I say, slow food, I guess? I don't know. I mean, have I'm pretty sure we've all had that experience. Where we're all high on the drive through after we smoke all those blunts, and then you decide, hey, let's go get some fast food at 12 a.m. Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the most flawed system in the world called drive throughs why drive throughs suck, why basically fast food sucks, and actually, believe it or not, I, I actually work at fast food. We might actually do a real-life test of it. Um, thankfully, I have some editing software now on my phone to where I could basically just, like, edit videos so basically that means that I don't have to like pre-do the videos and basically just have more of an authentic feel of what it is we're going to be doing some tests we're going to be doing some kind of stuff I'll show you like some research and everything let's get on with this video so according to my research I have found out the reason why McDonald's drive throughs and basically drive throughs in general why they're bad so, as you know, your boy Spicy Rince has been working at Taco Bell. He's been getting some of that money and everything. But let me tell you something about that. So, the menus are usually complex menus. Same with the McDonald's menus, but we're going to use McDonald's in this example because they're honestly like just like the, the, the basis of fast food. But the menus are complicated. Customers a lot of times have low IQ or high that's usually who goes through the drive through And uh, usually, um, a lot of lower income people. And usually, a lot of times, people who come to fast food usually are like low income people. I'm not trying to like, just like be prejudiced or anything. This is not a prejudice channel. We don't allow prejudice. But I'm just saying, a lot of times, it's low income people. And I'm just saying, like, it's it's research. Like, I, I hate to say it. That's usually the low-income people that come to fast food. And usually they have a lot of kids. They're usually on welfare. I mean, I'm just saying. It's the truth. I have to tell the truth on this channel. I speak nothing but the truth. That it's usually them. They order big orders a lot of time, And then it's just the thing is. When it's and it's just a lot of people. Like there's just a lot of cars backed up. And one thing I figured I know McDonald's have like two drive through lanes, but I feel like there needs to be like an express lane. So like people orders like a drink or like basically people order like one item and or something like that. I feel like there needs to be like something like that. Let me try to show you what I'm talking about. So let me go to out of these compilations. So in a lot of drive throughs is mainly just like a one lane thing a lot of times. And usually, although usually nothing ever happens, it's usually bad when it gets busy. Now during the daytime, when there's not a lot of business, it's not really too bad. The problem arises when at nighttime it gets really busy, the lines get long, and especially on Thursdays and Saturdays, that's when the and Sundays are when the most problems happen. So let me show you a a kitchen. This is a Taco Bell kitchen and where I work at and they usually have, like, the second line is never open. It's usually only, like, one line that's open. The problem is there's also mobile ordering. There's also dine-in orders. And then there's also drive through orders. The problem is when people order big orders, it gets too overwhelming. It gets slow. Then they lose business. And then it's just all that. Now you might be thinking, oh well, you know what they need to they just need to work a little faster and stuff, right? Yeah. If your wages are really low, I mean and don't get me wrong, 
maybe like a teenager, it probably wouldn't be too bad. But actually, it's not what you think it is. So, yeah, a lot of kids work these jobs, and yeah, a lot of them are immature, and they just don't feel like, and they just like being on their phones and stuff. And a lot of times, it's, it's the managers, they don't care too. So, I mean, I guess they're part of the blame too. But let's look at this. So, the stereotypes is that teenagers, they they work after school, they live with their parents, they just want extra spending money, but in, in reality... A lot of fast food workers are 37, they're like 20 or older, or, and you know, basically, and that's true, believe it or not, there are a lot of like older adults that work these fast food jobs, basically. Now, what I'm saying is that a lot of times, you know, they don't, they don't have the drive to just pick up the pace, you know, and let's be real, a lot of managers, they're probably the same way too. They probably just don't feel the, the, the need to pick up the pace. I mean, if you think about it, you're getting like 20, like like if you're having a bunch of orders that are like 20 plus items. And let's be real, humans aren't machines. We're not, we're not terminators. And don't get me wrong, if, if this is me just saying that, oh, I'm lazy or whatever. Like, if, if you're like, basically, really, fast time is just for a GM to get a bonus, if I'm being honest. What does the worker get? The worker gets nothing. I'm just I'm just stating psychology. I'm not stating anything. I'm not proving anything. I'm just saying that, like, there is no drive for them to get to be fast, you know. And there's really no. And and a lot of times it's it's us. It's it. We're the problem. We go to the drive through high as fuck, and then you, and then you expect them to make the food quick when we're doing it at twelve in the morning. And don't get me wrong, I do that shit too. So I'm part of the problem too. And I'm pretty sure you guys are part of the problem too, too. Ordering big orders literally at 12 at night and stuff. Yeah. Well, when you should be at bed. Um, yeah. But what I think the best solution, or at least one of the solutions, I don't know, I wish I had a picture of it, was to have an express lane. This is for people who order like one item or like basically order like under five items, and basically that just eliminates like all all the freaking cobbleation. It could like maybe there's like a separate line that just makes the order just makes that order. All they make is express lane orders. It's just, I mean. They get more money. They get more business. I mean, they'll probably have to hire more employees. But which I think is probably the big thing. They don't want to hire too many employees. Like, when I, when I worked at fast food, they never wanted... Thursdays were the hardest days to work. Because it was busy... Because there were more customers on Thursdays than there were on Fridays. But... They never open up the other line. Because they always think Thursday isn't going to be as busy as Friday. Friday, they open up all the stuff. But Thursdays, they never open up anything. Saturdays, they could be hard too. People order big orders. You know, people. It's just how it is. All in all, what I'm saying is that fast food is just terrible. Just, just don't order it. If I'm being honest. Order it only in the daytime. Because that's probably the best time. That's like, really order it during an emergency. Don't order it as like a family meal or anything. And now we're going to get to the segment of the video where we're going to actually do the real life test. And show you what I'm talking about. Alright, we're outside the house. Uh, we're getting the inside the car. I will be making, as far as the car goes, we will be making like upgrades to it. Um, hopefully I will link update upgrading the car videos but yeah we should be able to but yeah um we're gonna get inside and we're gonna go to the fast food place I'll see you at, at the fast food place already we're backed up already we're already backed up okay we're I chose water burger because it's the most 
realistic place to do it at for the simulation to show you what I'm talking about. But it looks like they must be short staffed because they look like they only have like one lane open. And uh, yeah, looks like they only have like one lane. Or so I don't have a clock, so I can't tell you what time it is. But I'll update you later. So the current time is 1.39 and it looks like somebody's ordering a big order. So it looks like somebody's ordering a big order. Uh, I'll check back into you guys with like at least like 10 seconds down the clock. So I wanted to show you guys that that fine ass bitch over there, she ordered a couple of foods and uh, literally she just got done with her order and look. See, we're moving. It's like 1.42 p.m. right now. So we've been here for like four minutes. And uh, yeah. All right, so um, I would like to have a milkshake. What size and what kind? Uh, I would like to have like a, um, how much is a small milkshake? $3. And how much is like the um, medium? Three seventy-eight for a medium, three twenty-four for a small, four sixty-four for a large. I would like to take a medium milkshake, and can it be like strawberry? Okay. What else? Uh, I want to say that's it. It's gonna be three seventy-eight. Three seventy-eight. You paying cash or card? I'm paying cash. Go ahead and pull forward. Yeah, all right. So, um, literally, that man was just rude to me. I'm not gonna put his face on there. But um, what time is it? Like, do like do seem irritated as fuck, and it's um, one forty four. So we've been here for like seven minutes. I mean, dude, dude's like really pissed off at me. I don't know why. I mean, at the same time though, I mean they are paying minimum wage and shit. But basically, I was gonna like get a, the recording shit. So basically, the reason why I did that is so I could um, get the freaking like authentic shit right but also like i don't want him thinking that i'm recording him and shit so thankfully they, they've got no solutions to the problem and shit so yeah so it's been dang it really i haven't cleared up any space i might have to check my phone but it's um it's been like 10 minutes and uh still something two lanes are like getting filled up and shit so you know it's bad. I'm surprised Butterburger still gets business though, if I'm being honest. But yeah, this is the prime example of why you shouldn't go fast food, bro. Rude ass employee and shit. Oh shit, okay. Okay, it's my shit next. My shit next, bro. My shit's next. Alright, okay, we gonna don't curb rash it, bro. You got the strawberry shake? Yeah, I got the strawberry shake. You told it was gonna be three seventy eight. Three seventy eight? Hey, this this should be eight, like eight cents or something. Huh? This should be like eight cents. This is like four dollars for like eight cents. Okay. Okay, we got the car in park. We got everything. Should be able. Um, they should be able. They should get my order right, though. I think they gave me a small, but we're gonna confront them about it, and it's all good. We're gonna like, I know, sorry about the messy ass car and shit, but you know. Uh, we're gonna pause the video right here and then I'll get back to it. So they were rude as fuck and shit, you know. Shit, I hope I don't curb rash shit, but they were rude as fuck. They, um, they were rude when they were giving it to me. They were being belligerent and stuff, but you know, it's just fast food. So like, it's really, it is what it is. And it's just, you know, it's fast food. We can't do nothing about it. And, you know, it's, it's you know what I mean? It's just how it is, you know? 
anyway i'm gonna be editing videos when i get home and uh, i hope to see you guys in a meet and if we get to 200 subscribers i will do a face review spicy rins my mission is over